Hi. <laughs> Hi, Collective. Hi. Hi. I don't know why I'm waving like that. Listen, y'all got me acting a fool today. Um, how we doing? Hopefully, well. Um, thank you all so much for all the support y'all give me. I greatly appreciate it. I need to make my coconut water. Speaking about support, I don't know why. Like, maybe my coconut water can support me. I don't know. I'm going. Energy needs to chill the fuck out. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm getting decks out still. But I hope we're doing good. I hope we feel in well. Uh, I hope this mic is working. <laughs> um, I want to... Oh, God. Spirit, why is my backpack so pregnant? I'm, it's really being a minute me getting shit on the bag. I'm so sorry, y'all. Y'all know how it is over here. I literally just hit record and don't even drunk into what decks I'm going to use first, but apparently Spirit is making me get them out prematurely. We got a lot of decks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, anyway. I don't know what this reading is going to be about. I hate to break it to you. Um, I did, however, want to really wear my Looney Tunes shirt. Um... And Tom and Tom and Jerry, that's uh, okay. I did have a download. I just forgot about it until now. Tom and that's not even. I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Tom and Jerry. Someone. Y'all remember those episodes of Tom and Jerry, where Tom would like be loving like over this cat woman, and they fucking it's the is you is or is you not my baby shit. And Jerry's sitting there, like, pissed off. <laughs> I think that that's, like, the energy right now. Is, like, someone is, like, is you is or is you ate my baby? And you're just beat your Jerry right now? And you're just, like, well, no, you'd be Spike. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But what I'm trying to get through <laughs> is someone is trying to... play a, some sort of mental game with you and it's not working someone oh wow it's still, oh god it's still going someone really likes the cat and mouse chase and someone's not getting the cat mouse chase someone is like just <laughs> I don't know why I got that image but it's like someone's running Someone's like running on, haha, you can't catch me. And then they turn around and you're nowhere there. <laughs> you're like, it's running through like a field of flowers, right? Daisies to be exact. Someone's running through a field of daisies. And they're like, oh, haha, you'll never catch me. And then they look behind you. They look behind you. They look behind themselves and like, you're not there chasing them. So they, <laughs> they do a thing where they turn around and like slouch a little bit. And they're like, what? You know, am I making any sense? I hope I am. Um, we're gonna use the kipper to start off, but I feel like someone's like trying their hardest to play like some sort of mental game with you. It's like you're not gonna if you're not paying attention to me in the spirit realm. If you're not gonna pay attention to me and my involuntary actions in your life, then you're going to pay attention to my cat mouse game, my mental games. I'm gonna mess with you mentally since I can't get to you. No, but they, tr okay, this is just weird. Someone's stuck in, someone's in purgatory. It's literally, actually, someone's in purgatory. I can't, like, there's no way. It's the Beetlejuice. Daylight come and they won't go home. They want to go home. They, there is no home. Wealthy man, oh my god, let's just dig in. But someone's, like, really trying to play mental games with you, and that doesn't work. Someone, yeah, someone's in despair and concern about lovers? Someone is in despair and concerned about love, about some sort of love contract coming in, or like you being in. Why are you so obsessed with someone else's relationship, like their love life? It even says on here not hiring, so it's like you're not, you're not available for this person. This is so bad. Why am I picking this up like this? So you see all those people in the back. <laughs> it's like this person's like, oh god, I'm late to the to the line to the empress. And they're not even high, they're not like, they're not, you're not accepting karmic contracts. 
and this person feels like really left out because they see all these other people and they're like they're in concern because you're you have peace you have serenity on the way you have actual like love someone like it's it's the energy of oh I don't fucking care about love and then they don't get love and then it's like oh well, now I want it be a pick me somewhere else yeah official <laughs> official person and thief well wow. yeah so someone's trying someone's trying to steal you oh no mom someone's someone's fucking retarded i gotta get a message out yeah marriage came out literally someone is afraid of you getting in a relationship because you're gonna get married if you do because this next person that comes to you is going to be someone that's going to treat you well with respect of the highest of high. i got like razor burn i'm sorry um ooh, i'm being a little bit too ouchy no but someone's like someone fucked up bad this is I'm not even I don't I don't even say shit like this, but I was gonna say this is so sad. Can we hit can we I'm not saying the full sentence. <laughs> there is someone that watches like I'm about to I'm not gonna read them to that filth. Oh my god. Someone watches a lot of uh gaming YouTube. Someone watches Pyrocynical. I just gotta out you out like that. I'm literally channeling someone that watches Pyrocynical because they're about because I was literally about to say, oh my god, this is so sad. Can we hit three million likes? Please don't. Don't take that serious, okay? That's just me quoting something that he would say. Um, but someone straight up, like, I, I just feel like there's so much irony in this. It's like you, no one really gives a fuck. Yeah, official person, promised lady, and how? Wow. No wonder did that false person on the bottom. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, so someone's afraid of you getting in this relationship. Someone's afraid of you being the... Someone knows that you're the official person. Someone knows that you're the privileged lady. But they, like, you can't, you can't do that without me. I, you need, you need me. Like, no, 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 no. Um, this person's forfeiting a lot of their power over to you um, at this time. You are separate from this person. You have no means with this person. You have no... Mama, do y'all have no attraction towards it? Okay, listen, I guess so. There's no attraction towards this person either. Fuck, I just gotta get a message out. False person, official, wealthy man. False person, wealthy man, and great fortune. Yeah. Distant horizons and what? Community. Gift. Ooh. So a false person and a wealthy man was expecting a gift of sun wealth hmm. from a community. I got razor burn. Um in the distant horizons and they're not getting that because it's a false person it's i don't understand listen people gotta stop being stupid do you have a job with this person you know the biggest the biggest cycle on this earth that people continue to do is the oh look so and so's getting married that means i should get married oh so and so's having a kid i want a kid now that shit's so i hate it i hate it like it's so fucking stupid you might be ready for marriage awesome cool sick someone else might not be ready for marriage also awesome also cool also sick but you cannot expect that person who is not rated for marriage to just get married same for someone who's not ready to have a kid you can't expect that person to just oh well fine we'll just get a kid they're not going to take care of it they're not going to give it actual love that it needs and I feel like this is exactly what this person got stuck in someone's in a relationship this person they're in a relationship with may act like a child. They may have a child with this person. They don't want to be in that mess. And you see what I mean? Why are people like that? People need to stop with the dumbass fad shit, especially in this new, like in this new world that we're in. 
you want a relationship, actually fucking start loving yourself. Oh, you want to, you want to, you know, get with someone that's equally yoked as you, start using your fucking brain more. Like, newsflash, coming from a Libra, newsflash, ooh, um, message of concern. Yeah, that's concerning to this person. <gasps> I have to actually, like, do things? <gasps> uh, I don't think I can. I don't want to. It's pissing me off, bro. Toil and labor. Literally, toil and labor puts in my head, like, strenuous work, dude. It's, it's, this person's an excuse maker. Like, oh, I'll do it once I get this. Oh, I'll do that once I have that. Oh, I'll heal myself once I have collective. No, you'll heal yourself right the fuck now. <laughs> um, because collective's not going to come towards you at all. Um, so either you suffer and, and wilt and crumble or you heal. Um, those are your two options. There's no third option. You can't, you can't. That's the, that's the third option's free will on someone else's accord. Um, sucks to be you. Coffin. Something's over. Because someone's still undecided. Someone's still so indecisive in their actions, in their way of living. Oh, I don't want to give up on this. Oh, I don't want to. I don't think I can. Well, then don't. Then don't. There's no if ands, or buts. There's no second double thinking or like triple guessing. It's like, do you want to or not? In this, in this new energy, in this new world that we're in, it's either yes man or no man. Yes God, no God. You know, do you want this relationship? Not really. Cool. On to the next. We'll ignore this. We'll push it in the back. Whatever happens in the future happens in the future. Cool. Do you want this relationship? Yes, I do. Awesome. Click together. Get it together. You've made your choice. This person hasn't made their choice. This person's also kind of scared of being rejected, which is why they're indecisive. They want some, they want like, it's like they want a sign, but they keep getting signs. And it's not the sign that they want or like. So it's like, well, I, since it's not a sign that I like, I'm going to keep asking for signs. And the divine's like, no, nah, you're not going to get any more signs from us. We've given you literally everything that we can. We've even given you songs that like tell you exactly how this person feels or what this person, like the universe has done all it can. And this person's like, oh, I'm going to pick up a tarot deck and, like, read about Collective and see if I can pick up anything from Collective. Like, no. The answer is going to remain the same. This person's a child. They don't want to mature. They don't want to grow. They like being re They like being redundant. That's the energy I'm picking up, really. And they're concerned about your great fortune. Oh, and they're concerned about, okay. So someone thought that if you didn't, if you weren't with them, you wouldn't have this great fortune. Turns out they're just dead weight. I'd hate saying it like that, but they turns out they were just dead weight. You have, you are the key. This person, I'm saying it like this. Don't take offense to it. I'm not trying to press this on anyone's agenda. Um, but this is how the energy feels. This person's a nobody. You're a somebody. You have the fortune this person doesn't. This person thought that ignoring you and abandoning you would make you lose that fortune so they could have it. No. You have the fortune because you're the key. You're the somebody. You're the one chosen by the divine. This nincompoop lost, a, lost everything from the divine. They don't have... They're in spiritual debt. They don't have anything. So what? Like, what? Now they want to come back because they see you flourishing, growing with the abundance you're living the dream of this person and the karmic that they're like scissoring with i don't fucking know why i said scissoring maybe they're fucking i don't know fuck you got me confused maybe they lesbians i don't know shout out shout out my lesbians <laughs> but no but you're living the life that these people want and it pisses them off yeah courtship wealthy man and thoughts this wealthy man is in their thoughts about some sort of courtship courthouse Ooh, someone might be getting a divorce Bad health. Ooh, maybe yeah. Someone might be getting. It. Someone might be getting a divorce. Someone might be in bad health because they're about to get a divorce. Someone might be in bad health because of some sort of legal situation that's not going to go on their side because of their relationship with someone. Wow. Did this karmic? I almost said weenie. Karmic weenie. Where's do someone like 
someone throws really childish insults at you. I'm I'm not gonna lie, dude. I'm picking up the energy. I'm picking it up. I'm not gonna eat it. I'm not eating it. I'm like just like wow. I'm like baffled. But this person, like, they tell very petty lies about you. They can't lie about you. They can't, like, no one gives a, I hate to say it, but really, honestly, no one gives a fuck about this person. They're not doing anything with their life. They have all these people that they told to watch you, like, oh, I'm going to slander Collective's name, and then they all go look at you, and they see you actually doing something. They might not agree with what you're doing, but at least you're doing something, and you look happier than them. It's like, well, shit, look at Collective. Well, you know, there's there's the few fucking rats in the barrel that are like, oh, man, 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 man. Collective's happy, man. Like, yeah, expectations, unexpected income, high honor. Expect some unexpected income, because you're in high honor. Expect unexpected income. You're in high. You're held in high honor. People like you. <laughs> People fuck with you. People like what you got to say. People like your energy. People like everyone likes your energy. Let's be real. Even the ones that hate your hate your energy, they like it. They're just they just hate that you're not giving it to them. Ooh, so special. <laughs> no, but um, yeah. People like the way you look. People like the way you talk. People might even like just your voice. People like your eyes, your, like, everything about you. It's really, this is what drives this person nuts, dude. And it's so funny. Because you're not even trying. You're not trying to make people like you. People just like you because you're a nice person. It's your energy. This person's energy reeks of fucking, uh, I'm not saying that. That's fucking from the 1700s, mama. Fucking... They reek of elderberries. I'll leave it at that, okay? Because someone's coming through and they got some choice, why, like some choice words of their fucking. <laughs> Y'all gotta chill. Okay, listen, whoever's and whoever I'm picking up on literally just is calling this person a weasel that we reeks of elderberries. And that's like, that, that's fucking funny. <laughs> you know who they're calling that? This false person fucking reeks of elderberries and is a weasel. That's, I, hands up. Listen, who's saying that? That's fucking funny, y'all. Y'all gotta quit up there. Y'all are nuts that I, I did want to get the roast iconic out. I haven't used it in a while. I already knew this was, I, the fucking, we already got the insults running, mama. Let's just go down this train real quick. <laughs> this vampire's a bitch. <laughs> Don't hate me. The car it's the cards. It's the cards. It ain't me, it's the cards. This vampire is a bitch. <laughs> vampire is a feral bitch. <laughs> they ain't gonna they don't stop at nothing. They yeah, this cult leader this feral cult leader can get fucked. Spirit doesn't care about this person at all. Like, listen. The divine don't care about this person. At this point, God is shunning them. No one cares about this person. This person's useless hate to say it but that's the energy that's coming up they have no use they they're a moocher they're a slacker they're they complain a lot they're annoying they like they're a drug addict <laughs> i'm not here to be mean but like they're a drug addict and they hate you because you're an influencer and you're secretive you don't, you're very hush hush about your life and you're not, oh, I hang my tits out the car door. Woo, look at me on Facebook. Like, no, you literally don't talk about shit. Like, maybe you make an inspirational post. Maybe you talk about real shit. You don't go around posting fucking pictures of every day of your life. You, ha you know, you live your life, actually. You're not a robot like the rest of them. <laughs> and it pisses this person off because they really, like, they're not used to normal people um normal meaning whatever the fuck this person's used to trauma bonding with people though they can get fucked you know you know trauma bond about that <laughs> trauma bond about that god spirit i pick up this deck and i turn to a fucking snooty little we love it though i know 
someone just like they yeah dude this person only likes you for money this person only wants you for money and this narcissist only wants you for money i like how every like dude yeah they're just a bitch i don't they they got nothing they're they're I, it's giving just the energy of just please pay attention to me please like oh my god i want your attention so bad please but they'll never say that they're a narcissist so what they'll do is they'll act out in different ways they'll like try and do things to you so that you can pay attention to them quote unquote and then that doesn't work so then they have to bite their tongue and suck on their thumb because if they act out in a rash way then everyone knows what they're doing but side note everyone already knows that this person's jealous of you so it doesn't matter what it's like this person's playing a mind game with themselves they might they seriously need to go to therapy <laughs> um this person's mind fucking themselves they 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 i don't know someone it's like someone thinks that they're into to i'm not trying to laugh at this person i'm really not but spirit is like laughing really hard right now but someone feels like they're intuitive i'm not making fun but someone feels like they're intuitive someone feels like they're psychic um they're not they most likely are suffering from a demon um demon of greed of lust of envy um and while going further down my uh exorcist um studies demons um are not smart Obvi well we know that for sure demons are fucking stupid as hell but the only thing they can truly do they can't tell you about divine blessings or anything like that they can't they'll lie through their teeth because they can't they don't have connection to the god they can't tell you what is to come ever but what they can do is predict very closely to how you will emotionally react because demons are very emotional um you know demons are just fallen angels that wanted to overthrow god so they're all fucking sour bitches at the end of the day they can guesstimate how you'd act due to some act due to actions that they do to you but that's about it they can't do anything else they're not they're nothing yikes hate to say it but that's what you do when you got a demon on you baby can't you can't someone feels like they're intuitive though someone like they're not someone will like look at it's, it's like someone will watch tarot readings and watch people do readings and they'll they'll give the energy of like oh yeah so like um i heard i heard that okay so i watched 12 videos on tarot and i seen this one card come out a lot and let's say this that card is for instance is the five of pentacles and it, you know they hear the word broke and lost this person instead of describing what the five of pentacles is we'll go on a long 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 rant um not making much sense about what the five of pentacles is by just saying that this person i don't i can't even fucking explain it honestly like let's just get real but it, it's like <laughs> god dude it's like it's, they'll say that they're being left out in the cold but then they'll take it to extravagance and be like, yeah, well, this person could be left out in the cold and they're going to be starving and they're not going to like, they're going to get attacked by a, a pile of hyenas. That's how they kind of tell. They, they make a big explosion out of it so that you forget that they're talking about the Five of Pentacles. And then that's like that's what they do like the end then is whenever they pull the next fucking card and it's like oh now it's the seven of swords um yeah there's seven of them and seven's like a number of luck and there's seven swords and swords are sharp and and sharp objects are bad so it's like seven bad years of luck that that's how this person thinks that's not intuition that is context clues there's a difference there's a big difference context clues you learn in third grade english intuition is something that you adapt to hi <laughs> i just like let's get real this person's a faker this person ain't got shit they ain't got nothing on you but they want they just want they want you to why do that maybe they do that like, give me like maybe they better be italian i don't know 
<laughs> they might have had some Italian food recently. Probably fucking pizza, mama. Let me come through. Pizza's not even Italian, but we're not going to get into that conversation right now. But I don't know. I don't know, man. They're not, they're, they're, they fake everything. They, it's sad. It's like, why, like, you can't fake it till you make it. It's very, listen, in this new world, mama, if you're fake, oh, it shows. Oh, if you're fake, it bleeds through. <laughs> I don't know. It, 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 it's like, it's like fucking spaghetti sauce. Oh, I don't know, maybe they are Italian. Fuck me. It's just spaghetti sauce all over a white shirt type messy. Like it, it's, it's given fucking like, you rub your lips and you forget you have lipstick on and now you got lipstick all over your face and your shirt. It, it shows bad. You can't, you can't hide that shit in this new world. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, that shit don't fly. Hey, you can do it. Of course, free will. Do what you want, for sure. Make a fool of yourself, embarrass yourself, but just know, oh, come through, ancestors, but just know that everyone else knows what you're doing. That sucks, doesn't it? When when the consciousness of the world rises up a bit. No. You know? Now, now you're... Now you... Because it's... It's... Even the people that, like, aren't spiritual, they got that upgrade of, you know, just conscious upgrade. You know, the, the fucking ones that... They're... You know what I mean? You don't have to be spiritual to get an upgrade. With, with this upgrade, it's like the divine blesses anyone who's on the right path, and everyone's path is different, you know? So the ones who are on their path got the upgrade. The ones that weren't either got a downgrade or stayed the fucking same. Either way, it's a downgrade. <laughs> Let's be real. Because um, now they're having to fend for their lives, unsure of what to do next in this new world because they're unfamiliar with this new matrix that we're in. Um, and these are people that believe fully that the like the world's a simulation and the matrix and all that shit but they don't keep up with it and now it makes a difference they never thought it would but like the world got a software update and if you didn't get the downloads you're fucked um you can't read this shit in a book <laughs> they ain't no book to tell you about what downloads came in from earth uh, came in to Earth, not from Earth, but to Earth. Um, there ain't no, no, no book about that. Um, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. And if you know a little bit, you know a little bit. But there's people out here who don't even know. And their life is going to hit like a big bump. And they ain't going to know how to move around it because they're not familiar with something like that. Or the world's different than how it was. And why am I being charged from something I did in 2017? Like, you know what I mean? Like weird shit like that. Um, but of course, you know, this devilish fiend who thinks that they're intuitive will definitely go around and act like they know something. And what they'll do is they'll project all the bad things that are happening to them, not just that person reading who's projecting, but the person who's getting the reading and the person they're telling this information to because they're all on the same fucking level. They'll just project what ha what's happening to them onto you, Collective, uh, to make themselves placebo feel better. But we all know, like, placebo effects don't last, but, like, what, maybe 30 minutes until you actually click in and be like, yeah, no, that's not going to actually happen. You know, being a false prophet in these times is dangerous. I'd be I'd being honest. You know, use your discernment heavily, but... You can tell who's a, who's a real one and who's not. Um, you can tell who's guesstimating. You can tell who the copycats are. You can tell who doesn't have their own feng shui, who doesn't have their own flow. You can tell the ones that mimic and mock. Um, and you can tell who the real ones are, too. And that's something that these people don't like. Because not only now can you do that, but... You could probably go to a fucking dude on the street and they'd know that this person's fake as well. Like, the average Joes are becoming a little bit 
buffier, I guess you could say. I don't know. Who is this jealousy about? Because we went on that little rant. Who are you? Black, I, well, yeah. Thank you, Spirit. Black Square. Everything is going to be very obvious. Some, It's going to just be, like, in your face, like, huh. So, yeah. Privilege, barrel, star seed. Someone is pissed off that you get everything that you get, that you're getting everything back, star seed. Um, so that's the full well, here. That is the privilege of the star seed is to get what they get, uh, get what was stolen from them back. Like you don't touch not my anointed. Touch not my anointed. Bitch, touch not my anointed, bitch. Hands up. Freeze. Put your hands in the air. Freeze. I don't know. Somebody might get arrested. Someone's really going to get arrested. I've been saying that for a minute. I hope no one's going to go in a fucking shootout. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making all that energy. Um, I've been picking it up for a minute, though. Um, dun -dun -dun -dun. We'll use the Necronomicon. I feel, like that's in, I feel like that's in the mood for this. Um... I immediately seen the Sins of the Ancestors card, which is the tower in this deck. Someone's, someone again is the sin of their ancestors, and I hate, I hate to say that. That is horrible to say. Like, listen, I don't, I'm not trying to be mean to no one. I'm fucking Libra. You know, I got my Aquarius moon. I'm detached as fuck. What's the hell is up? And then my Gemini. It's like, whatever. Like, I really just don't care. Like, it's bad that I don't care, but it's also at the same time, like, shit. Like, I try my best to care because I don't want to be mean, but at the same time, like, I'm just blunt. But someone is the sin of their ancestral lineage. Someone, like, is the one that their ancestors are going to withdraw from. They're not going to have any protection. They don't have any protection, dude. I got to be on. I got to get a message out. Someone just has no protection. I'm going to use um, the other tarot deck after this. We're going to get some signs. See who's in this energy. See who's doing what. See what signs. Yeah, the queen of books reverse. The queen of swords reverse. A liar, liar, pants on fire. I know that's Libra in reverse. And there's the ten of pentacles. Yeah, someone lied to people about being able to move forward with the ten of pentacles. That's horrible. Bro, imagine. Oh my god, dude. The devil sucks, man. I feel so bad for whoever got fucking tricked into this shit. I really do. That shit's, like, horrible. The devil don't play fair. Like, you should have listened to other people other than this one person. See, I, I, need th I think people need to also realize that's how manipulation starts, is that when you let one person keep barking to you and you don't take up anyone else's opinions, that's manipulation. That's manipulation 101. If someone can isolate you and start talking shit to your ear and not let you go to someone else to ask for like truth or an opinion because you're too like scared of that person too that's manipulation and step two of manipulation is whenever that person comes to you that's been that you've been manipulated about and they come to you to tell you some truth and you immediately disregard that and then talk shit to the person that's manipulating the whole situation that's step two step three is this limbo phase that lasts for either an eternity or months or maybe a few years where they're stuck not knowing or believing the truth until it finally dawns on them and then that happens it's too late um that's how manipulation works i don't know if y'all know that i've literally watched multiple people be manipulated by someone's like slandering my name to them i've watched that shit go down and every time it's gone down the person that's been manipulated has had a shitty life i'm not like i can't even like I'm not even trying to, like, have bragging rights on it. Like, my sister manipulated a, about me, and now they're in, like, a... I'm not going to go into my personal shit, but they're in a horrible situation now. Um, I wouldn't wish that on anyone because I used to, I've been in that situation they were in before. Um, someone that manipulated uh, a friend of mine um, ended up getting arrested. Uh, an old friend of mine, the first friend I moved in with the apartment, they got arrested for uh, doing drugs. Uh, fuck. My, another person that was manipulated by a whole situation ended up abusing, um, well, got abused by their boyfriend. Another person that got manipulated by the whole thing 
ended up getting kicked out of a house and had to move back in with their mom. It's not even that these are readings that I'm going to get. These are things that they have come to me or I have personally seen these things. It's not me picking it up on energy. It's me seeing it with my own eyes. Manipulation doesn't get you anywhere but treachery and disappointment. To the person that is manipulated, they have a shit life because they got to realize that they threw away a real one. The person that manipulated usually ends up having to fucking eat their words and being pitchforked by the devil himself and thrown into the pit of acid because they like using cauldron magic so much, we'll throw them in a cauldron too. You know. But someone lied about moving forward with the Ten of Pentacles. Like, yeah, look at us. We're going to have the Ten of Pentacles. No, you're not. You lied. You don't know shit. Queen of Pentacles reverse, don't know nothing. <clears throat> My throat chakra acting up too after I said that. That's just the truth though. I mean, people can act like it's not the truth. People can like, me, 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 you know, make and move their hand when you talk and all that shit, but that's the truth. It's in your face. You just don't want to see it. It's in your face that someone's balanced moving forward. And like, I mean, shit, dude. Yeah. I don't know. It's like, it's given like, it's, it's, it's the stages of grief. After manipulation comes grief. I'll be real with you. Because after you realize you've been manipulated by someone, you end up going in grief. And you're in disbelief, you're in disarray. You're like, no, it's not real. I don't believe it at all. You know, but it, it sinks in deeper and deeper. Um, it's depression for sure. Not, it could be actual depression. Either way, it's a depression, uh, meaning oppressed in emotion that you're, uh, holding in deep, you know, a depression. You're pre you're holding, you're withdrawing your emotions in very deeply. There's some withhold, withheld emotions, withheld truth that needs to come out, and you're refusing to do so. Um, but someone sees that you're moving forward, and that you're getting these brand new ideas, and that you're moving forward very bravely. Like you know exactly what to do. You're moving forward quickly with inspiration, and they're sitting there watching you. They're literally like, with this, it's like. This person could be scrying about it. This person could actually actively be like watching you or like getting people to come in when you're doing things to see what you're doing. Regardless, there are they're trying to like monitoring spirits. Like fucking, we seen another live stream. I had two of them pop in. That was fucking crazy. <laughs> but you know, do whatever they can to find a way into your life that that they don't care about. You remember, they don't care about what you do, but. They really do. I don't really want you to know. Um, but that's the truth. Um, I just, I get the energy of like party pooper. I feel like someone wants to project that you're a party pooper for knowing this. Are you a party pooper for growing? Oh no. Collective grew up. Oh no. What are we going to do? You grew. Oh God. Uh, who fucking cares? Three? That's the high priestess. No, it's not. The that the Empress. That's the Empress, yeah. But growth and the five of books, yeah. You grew from this like betrayal. Like I can't even say betrayal at this point. I mean, yeah, it was a conflict. It was like a betrayal, but like it helped you. It helped you, and it destroyed the people who did it to you. Which, the full reverse, the Nine of Pentacles reverse, the Seven of Beakers, and the Six of Beakers. Yeah, someone is like, wow, dude. Wow. <sighs> dude. <laughs> someone took a wrong leap. These cards are speaking to me today. This person took a wrong leap into losing everything. They took a creep towards Lee, uh, greed lead. Yeah, someone was someone was led to do some bullshit. Look at this though. This man's it looks like he's daydreaming about this castle, right? With the seven of beakers, the seven of cups. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna have all these things. Now all they have is to think about the past. Oh man, I was really happier when Collective was around. Man, I, I miss when Collective did this, this, and this for me. I hate this bitch. I don't know why that's coming through. Yeah, two of books and violence. Oh my god. Eight of torches. Oh shit. Okay. What is violence in this deck? I don't even know. I don't even know. 
Oh god, dude. Someone is bound to violence. Oh, oh god. I don't even like that. Eight of, eight of torches. It's coming in quick. Whatever the fuck they have done, it's coming back to them quickly. Like, it, they know it is. Everyone knows it is. It's probably being drip fed to them, honestly. It's like, say uncle, never, okay, here's some more. Say uncle, no, okay, here's some more. Say uncle, no, okay, <laughs> here's some, we got a whole, we got like 50 gallons of this shit. You want, like, someone's, I, waterboarding. Ooh, okay. Mm. Mm. I ain't gonna get into it, mama. The Knight of Books, the Queen of Torches, the King of Pentacles. Wow, what the fuck? That is so interesting. I'm not saying that. But you're moving forward swiftly. You're moving forward very quickly. Um, your manifestations are coming in and there is a king of pinnacles who is waiting to mix uh, emotions with you. Not have mixed emotions with you, but to mix emotions with you. You know, like you, they're happy, you're happy. You both get together and make big happy type shit. Um, I feel like that's on the way. Yes, with the three of pinnacles and the six of books. Yes, it's on its way to you. Yeah, celebration. Celebration, teamwork. Celebrate good times, come on. Do, 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 do. I don't know why the energy is coming in. I don't know, bro. What, why am I picking up Mario Kart Double Dash, bro? <laughs> I feel like that's how this person felt, dude. I feel, I feel like this person was playing like Double Dash with you. Your past person with this karmic, I feel like they're playing double dash and they got they, like one of them can't use items and the other one can't drive. So they switch places on accident and they don't remember the button to push to switch back. So they're fucked up. And now the one that can't drive is like going all over the place. And the one that can't use items is fucking just wasting all of it. Like, yeah, with the 10 of pinnacles, the 10, <gasps> the 10 of pinnacles, the 10 of beakers and manipulation which is the magician yeah dude what the fuck the fact yeah someone was is that the seven is that shaman the k2 underneath with the ace okay yeah so that's the sun the truth the truth is being revealed the sun to the ace of pentacles to knowledge to manipulation to the ten of pentacles and the ten of books Someone knows that they were, tr it's like, this gets under someone's skin so bad, I know it. Someone doesn't want me saying this, because they're very much like, in my energy. But someone was manipulated into poverty for coming after you. And they know this. Oh, they know it. Oh, and it pisses them off. But will they dare? show that true emotion to you? No. Never. Want to know why they won't show you that emotion? Because they're a narcissist. You might have even called this person a narcissist to their face and they wanted to project that you were the narcissist instead. Typical baby wham wham poo poo attitude coming from it. Um, But it's like you don't even have to. That ten of pinnacles keeps coming out with the ace of books. You literally have the Ten of Pentacles. This is yours. You get this. This is yours, Collective. Authority. You have the authority to do this, to get this. And it, what the fuck? Every time I see this card, I just get so, like, uh. Someone wants to, like, eat your heart out, bro. Like, energetically, someone would, like, if you would let someone have their way with you, they would destroy your heart chakra. They would destroy your heart. That's what they want to do. That's why they want to come back. Seven of, sword, seven of torches reverse. That's why they can't come towards you. Their heart is fucked up. And they think that it's not fair that you're mirror, not mirroring a experience that they're having. So they want to like 
act like everything's fine so that when you do come back they get you with the big old one two whammy you know what i mean that's the truth the truth is you know this though you know the truth you know this shit already though i'm not telling you anything new you already know what this what this fool is gonna do which is why you keep moving forward that's why your ships are coming in that's why you are uh fucking giving it a rest you've already put something to rest you don't care you're not even like you're not even trying to be me it's like me reading about this energy I'm not even trying to be mean. I'm just telling it how it is. And someone doesn't like you. Someone doesn't like your bluntness. Someone likes like your soft bunny side, but they don't like your fucking blunt side. They don't like it when you tell the truth because it really like energy. They don't like the truth. But the five of beakers, though, the five of cups, yeah, they're in they're in regret. It's, it's giving, like, this person, like, three of torches. Oh, shit. Yep. Thank you, spirit. This is exactly what I was about to say. Literally, someone's in heartbreak because you're moving forward. But it's giving as well that this person has sent people, if you have a channel, to watch you. To make fun of your channel. To gang stalk your channel. And you just talking about them. You just talking. How they come out in the cards immediately sets off that flag oh hey isn't that so-and-so yeah that is so-and-so isn't it that's so funny that's how so-and-so is acting right now i mean yeah it is and they huddle together and start thinking about it and then they don't go back to so-and-so because now they know that so-and-so is a big fucking wham of poopy pants <laughs> and they don't want to deal with them your ships are coming in someone doesn't like that someone doesn't like it's like someone's made an arch nemesis out of you for some reason and you don't even... What? Isn't that the Incredibles? That is... It's literally given the Incredibles. Who the fuck is that That kid that looks up... What is his name? Rob or something? I don't remember. Like, the dude that looks up to Mr. Incredible, but that he was like, go away, kid. I don't care right now. It's giving that energy. So now this kid's like, I'm gonna destroy your whole world. Oh, I'm mad at you. And, and you just don't give a fuck. The nine of... Torch is reversed. Hey, you don't give a fuck. But the nine of torches reversed. Like, someone's doing it out of ego. Someone's having a fall from grace. They can't handle it, dude. They can't. They. Confirmation with this horns, mama. I don't know if you heard them, but someone cannot handle it. Someone can't handle the truth. Someone can't handle who they are. Someone can't. Why am I hearing these? Can you smell what the rock is cooking? I don't know, man. Can you? I don't know. But it's given heavy energy of just like the, this person hates you so much that they love you. And that's weird. <laughs> but they hate you so much that it's like, oh, I wish you'd just come here so I could kiss you and then stab you in the back a thousand times. And then, oh, I didn't mean to do it. I'll never do it again. And then do it again the next day. <sighs> God, dude, this person needs some help. <sighs> uh, I, I just, I'm, I'm hearing it, so I'm saying it. How did I get turned down by a hopeless romantic? I think that's what hurts this person's emotions the most. Is that, I don't care if you agree with it, mama, us empaths are hopeless romantics. We give out love without a care in the world because we like to. That is, it's not bad, but we're labeled as hopeless romantic. This person got turned down by a hopeless romantic. What does that say? Not, you know what I mean? Like, that's how this person feels. It's like, oh, really? So you're saying I'm unlovable? No, we're not saying you're unlovable. But your actions are very heinous and ugly, and we don't have time for that. <laughs> wrong, wrong timeline. You might want to catch up. <laughs> you know, we're, we're let's play. Quit playing mustard. Play catch up. All right, come on. <sighs> oh man, it's bad, man. It's so bad. It's like you've turned, it's like this person really like, oh, you hurt them so bad. What did you do? Why did you do this to me? Ah, the chariot and the tower, baby. I mean, she, I, it. 
<laughs> yep. They got a tower coming. It coming quick, too. Someone did not learn a lesson, dude. Someone has, like, something to learn. Someone's gotta learn how to be brave, bro. <laughs> Someone needs to get their big boy or big girl pants on. Okay, I'm gonna pick it up, start moving. <laughs> Lord have mercy on these one souls. I don't think they're ready. Oh my lord. Oh, with the seven of wands? Yeah, dude. Someone's gotta put their big boy pants on because this is happening. It's like this conflict, this betrayal, this test of faith, it's coming to them. I don't know if they're gonna be ready. I wish them well, y'all. I wish them well. Oh, ten of swords. Oh my days. Ten of swords. Ten of swords. Princess of swords. Higher pent reverse. Oh my god. They were warned. They were warned by God. And now they gotta suffer the consequences. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they gotta. Okay, so they don't have to, but they like to. Maybe they're masochist. Maybe they fucking like sadists. They like hurting themselves or something. But someone is in deep regret and pain by watching you get this ace of pentacles but they don't have to watch you but they do it anyway why y'all someone come get your child <laughs> please uh, someone come get your child mama karmic papa karmic you better come get your child and give them love honey I don't know, bro. They know they can't stop you, though. The Three of Pentacles upright, the Six of Wands. Yes! De yes! Any work they send to you immediately ends. The Three of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and Death. I was just about to say, they know they can't do any sort of thing to your shit. Like, whatever they throw to you just doesn't hit. It's dead on arrival. Your energy is, your vibration is so high, and your energy is so pure, and you are so protected by the Most High, by your ancestors, and by the guides of who you choose. They literally, it's like, oh, this again? Really? And they tennis racket, badminton even, fucking pop that shit back over to him and it's like wait you can't do that that's cheating that's cheating i don't have a tennis i don't have a tennis racket no it's not fair oh no it's really not fair is it goodness gracious six of swords god mama what is this six of swords mama i don't even care about the six of swords i really just don't care I feel like I just don't care. I mean, I do, but like, I don't. I think that's your energy. Like, yeah, you care enough for those dingus to heal. That's about it. You ain't like, go heal. Are you gonna, are you like, have you healed? No. Cool. I'm still leaving. Oh, but I'll heal. No, you won't. <laughs> no, you won't. You just said you're not. So. It's bad. It's bad. Like, I'm not even, like... They thought... Listen. Y'all thought this eclipse was joking, didn't you? Some of y'all probably didn't have as much faith in this eclipse as you thought it was... As you thought, but look. That eclipse. The planetary alignments, the eclipse. Like, even if these people don't want to admit it, they awake to it. They're like, oh, fuck. So the whole universe is against me now? Yeah. <laughs> might want to start fixing your act up um cause we're about to hit you know we're about to hit mm, I'm not gonna get into it I ain't gonna get into it I ain't gonna get into it it don't matter they ain't gonna pay attention no how not a pinnacles whatever the fuck is coming <laughs> y'all know the ones that know, know. The Five of Wands is there too for conflict. Conflict is on its way. Um, it's so sad. It really is. Because it's like, no one needs to go through this. But they almost wanted to. To prove you wrong. 
and now they can't prove you wrong because you're right and they hate that you're right because since you're right they know what's happening to them and they can't they it's like no I don't want you to be right please please look look just smack me hit me stab me do something so I can do something to you please queen of wands you're giving me a heavy burden you're hurting me queen of wands stop it's giving that energy of like stop ignoring me you're hurting me I have to be mean and outlash on you but if even if I do that my karma is gonna get worse I need you to attack me just once get on my level please stoop down get off your throne and come fight me like no peasant okay <laughs> stay down there there beast I've noticed as well on the reap booging around like I bet it did it there too I why did I already my, this phone doesn't even have like the the fucking moving iris thing I don't even like my it's like my energy just like that like good or something because my camera doesn't have that thing it doesn't have like the moving iris so is like I've noticed that like I don't know if y'all do but I don't I think my energy's getting a little wacky up in here sometimes but I hope that doesn't bother you all because it bothered me at first when I seen it and there's no way of fixing it the devil reverse you are not you are not bound or tied to anything at all and they are burdened because if you're not in the trap who's in the trap That's a wait, that's a personal problem. That's a pee pee. It's not that's not a Mimi, that's a pee pee. No, no, no. The moon. I to the fool. They where the fuck did they go? Where the fuck did you go? It's like they you took the sleep of faith without anyone. Like it's it's funny as fuck because these people were watching you like a hawk. They're not very good hawks, are they? Because you took a leap of faith that they didn't see you take or expect you to take. Uh, going back to the person that thought they were intuitive or like a psychic or like they knew how to read energy or whatever the fuck they're claiming it's like oh th I don't know how this happened it, I, I didn't pick this up at all the fuck are you talking about if you if you if you're so good at what you would do then you would know this person's a one trick pony uh they may just use like tarot for like their main means they may use scrying or like mirrors or crystal balls for their main like thing and that's all they know how to do they're only good on mood magic on the fucking new moon and full moon because they're actually very weak and they don't know anything about the moon cycles they just know ooh, new moon new moon mean new magic uh full moon mean continuation that's all they know that's like doi um, this person's really fake. I don't know what the fuck they are trying to do. But you don't need cards. A lot of y'all aren't even read. Like some of y'all are who watch me don't even read cards. You don't even do anything. You just know when someone's in your energy for bad reasons. You know what bad intent feels like without it needing to be shown as well. You can just read like you know what this person's plans are with you. They couldn't do that in a million years, which is why they're so scared of you. It's like you actually, you're magical. Oh my God, you're living proof. Oh my God, you're just like in the movies. Oh my God, you're like, you're like Matilda. <laughs> You're like you're like that girl in the movie Poltergeist. Oh my god. You're like you're like the girl in the movie Sixth Sense. Oh my god. You're so scary like bitch. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm scary. Look at me. Ah, I'm so scary. <laughs> right? It's it's scary being in a world where you can't lie to people, huh? Cuz all you know is the lie. So now you're coming into the reality of the world where people aren't you're the crazy one and everyone else is normal because you want to fuck with everyone so you're the like delusional one that's the reality of it and they don't want it no i i can't be delusional no no not me no 
I am not the don't put that on me. You know how to use your energy. You're manipulating it to make me look mad. Like, no, mama, this is your energy. Fix it. Control yourself. It's your dog. Put on a leash. <laughs> it's your fucking energy. Control it. Use some jar magic on yourself. <laughs> Control yourself. Contain yourself before you can contain other people, dummy. Like, bro. I've been telling people for years do love magic on yourself and maybe shit will be better for you don't be doing love spells on people do love spells on yourself make yourself love yourself first <laughs> you don't want you don't want to you don't want to love yourself well make yourself do some love spells on yourself <laughs> oh no I can't I'm gonna do mirror magic on other people no do mirror magic on yourself <laughs> You know, this is crazy. Uh, these people are overloaded and stressed. They, they feel exploited. Oh no, they don't think it's fair that you win. Well, you live and you learn. They feel naked. Oh no, I am naked. <laughs> I can't take this serious. I cannot take this energy serious. It's like, oh no, my whole life has been a lie this whole time and I've always knew, but now I have to really know. <laughs> like, bitch, like, get a grip. <laughs> like, <it's, laughs> just stop lying. <laughs> like, you could, you could literally end it at any moment if you would just stop because no one else is doing a damn thing to you, child. You are the problem. And they're like, no, I can't be the problem. I'll, I'll prove it to everyone on this god green earth that I am not the problem. And meanwhile, they're just being the biggest nuisance on earth at this moment. Not really, you know, exaggeration, but they're just like, they're being a nuisance. And they're like, no, I can't be. It's impossible. I know I can't. I am Miss, I'm Mr. Mrs. Perfect. You can't say that about me. <laughs> like, no, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> someone see someone see dude the fact that you're moving forward with a loving heart still being good still being having your morals in check has this person fucking disturbed that's crazy they are it's like these people are planning things and you're it's like the collective has to be no that's what that is come through spirit so this person feels or these people feel like you're you're sabotaging them like they're plotting on you so you have to be plotting against them and all you're scheduling all you are scheduling is like what the fuck you're gonna do on your lazy days you're scheduling like how you're gonna have a good night's rest all you're doing is like preparing yourself for the best and th like they don't they don't believe that Dude, God himself could manifest in front of them. I'm not even talking about it like a human vessel. I'm talking about God manifesting in the way God chooses to manifest. And be like, hey. Like, remember when he talked to Moses and he was behind a bush? It could be like that. Like, God could straight up come down to someone's, like, cat or dog or goldfish and be like, hey. You know Collective's just trying to have, like, a sweet day and they're not really doing anything mean to you, right? And this person would be like, how the fuck is my animal talking? How is my pet talking? It's like, oh, it's me, God, by the way. I'm just controlling your animal to let you know that Collective's not doing anything to you. And they'd just be like, no, that's not real. I don't believe in that. And God was like, okay, bye. Yeah, bye. And then their animal, meow, 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 wolf, wolf, meow, blub, blub, whatever the fuck the animal they got. And it's like, like, well, I guess I'm going fucking crazy. Huh. I guess I, that's going to be a funny little drug trip. I guess I fucking took some acid. Didn't realize I took acid. But meanwhile, it was literally God being like, hey, can you, like, wake up? But someone is like, they're trying. That's what, that's the brain game. Is someone is trying to find a way to outsmart you and you're not even trying to do anything to them, bro. They're fucking delusional because you care about yourself that you get support people are like people are supportive of you and they see you gaining profit 
and that frustrates this person that you're able to go live your passions, you're making this person feel inadequate because they kept you in this position of being like less than in the memories. You promised yourself that you would love yourself, which is why you separated yourself from these people, and that's why you have your blessings. You have gifts. You have talents, and you're getting a gift. You're getting gifts because of your talents. You could, like, your mind, your smartness, your imagination. Like, you... You come up with really good ideas. You are, like... You're the brain of the operation, and you're the muscle of the operation. And these people around you are neither the brain or the operation. They're just the the bench warmers of the operation. Let's be real. But someone's seen you as a bench warmer. Maybe someone wanted to fucking like, yeah, I'm never going to believe in you. You'll never. It's that fucking like meme comic strip of like the dude eating cereal. And it's like that that's never going to happen. And then it happens. And he spits out a cereal. That's just people. That's this person's life is, oh, collective will never like get an independent business and be successful. And then you're being so sex successful. And they're like, oh, uh, uh-uh. um, well, it collective will never, um, fucking have the love of their life. And then they're doing readings and hearing readings about and hearing people talk about you and like, wow, I wish I was with collective being with collective would be so cool right now. And it's like, uh, um, well, it's like every time they say they that they bet something's not going to happen, God says, "Okay, how much do you want to bet? Because I'll I'll take that bet and we'll win." The devil already lost, dude. Well, the devil won these people, but the devil lost the war with God. Um, and it's like, it's like, so what? So what are your people going to be doing? The devil's like, well, they're going to come back over to the collective and like try to do this again because they don't have another choice. And God's like, oh, word, okay. Also, I mean, shit, yes, yeah, someone might be, someone has an idea, it's like, someone feels like they have ideas to do, do, to do rituals on you, to attack you in weak spots, but you don't have a weak spot. This, this person's the weak spot. Let's be real. This person attacking you is the weak spot. Their whole vessel is weak. They are weak. Um, I talk about this a lot. Um, but those that need to overthrow with power are weak. Those who need to control other people are weak in themselves. The person that's coming up against you, these people, they're all fucking weak. They couldn't look you in the eyes. They couldn't do a damn thing. They'll talk smack behind your back. They'll talk smack about you. But the, the the day that they actually see you, they run away. And that's happened to me personally. Every time I see a karmic in my situation, I look at them. They put their head down in shame and scurry like they didn't see me. It's fucking... It's, abys- it's funny as fuck. Because they think that they're all big and bad, but they're not. They're pathetic little worms. And it's funny as fuck watching them literally act so big and bad. And then, I don't know if y'all have even seen that. I, For me, God promised me that I would watch the downfall of those who talk shit about me. Because I've had a very rough life. I've had to be tossed out to the curb by so many people that I've given my full heart to. And I asked for karmic justice. And God personally told me, you will see these people and their downfalls. You will know them based off the truth. And damn right I have. I have seen every one of the karmics in my life look at me and then they immediately put their head down, do a walk of shame, and act like they didn't see me. I've literally seen one of the karmics go to my location that I like to hang out at. It, they pull up, they tried to sneak there and get there faster than me, and I went there and I seen their car parked out of the place and I just stared at them. And they literally were like, oh no, they seen me, didn't they? They're fucking stupid, is what they are. It's funny. Because these people could never do anything at all to affect you because their whole life is surrounding you. You live in their head rent-free. You have all the power. These people are weak, miserable troglodytes, to say the least. They couldn't do anything. They act. They have masks. That's why they that's why they throw this magic at you. Because God knows for a damn fact they don't have the balls to come up to you in the 3D and do things. That's why they get to you spiritually. They do sleep magic, they do all this weird shit. 
because they could never, never in their life look at you in the face. And they could get pissed off all they want. And if y'all are watching this or hearing it, y'all are bitches. Tenfold. Take, take the middle finger. I don't even care, mama. Like, no offense, all love and light, but get fucked. Because you know I'm one of the realest people on this planet. And if you got an issue with me, you come to me face to face. We can talk it out. But you being a bitch. So get fucked. I ain't trying to be mean. I ain't trying to throw no shade. I'm just telling the truth. Y'all are pathetic. Especially because you counted me out and thought that I wasn't going to be nothing. So, peace out. Yeah, blind. These people feel awkward as fuck for what they were arranging. They didn't expect you to move forward. They didn't expect anyone to move forward. But here you are moving forward. Oh, wow. That really proves how fucking strong I am, doesn't it? No, it proves how fucking delusional, how weak, how pathetic, how weaselly you are. Go heal. Go do something better with your life. You have the same 24 hours and you choose to waste your life away and be mad at someone who's doing better than you because they refuse to waste their life. You're insignificant because of that fact. You're proving that you don't want to do better. So of course people are going to treat you with that disrespect. I give tough love to my enemies. Yeah, I love them, but I'll call them who I'll tell them who they are. Because mama, I do I love. I don't hate no one. I ain't got time for hate. Hate is poison to the body. I ain't got time to poison myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just fucking air energy as fuck. I'd say how it is, detached, flighty, fucking sharp tongued and all. Oops. I try and work on it, but I'm just did I don't care. I mean I, I care enough to let you know, but I don't care much more than that. Um, so like again, sorry, like if my readings get too blunt for some of y'all, I understand. I'm very like cutthroat with it sometimes. Like I don't I don't like hurting people's feelings, but at the same time, like I I appreciate honesty. And I you know, mama <laughs> Honesty is a very powerful tool, but everyone like they've been puppeteered and they're hesitant to come towards you because they're third wheel enemies because they listen to someone else who didn't like you. So they teamed up against you because so and so didn't like you. And oh, I know so and so, but I don't know collective. So now they want to come to a compromise because you're reaching your goals. Ooh, that's ooh, yay. Yeah, justice is here. Justice is here. That's that's fair that they're going to be bound to whatever the fuck they did to you, said about you. Someone needs to stop strategizing because they're not good. They're horrible strategizers. They're hor. They... Listen. <laughs> they would need... They're so bad at what they're doing. They need you to play part of their plan. Collective. They need you to be a offhand like pawn of their plan for it to work because they can't do it they don't know how to do it they need your input that's how bad they are bro that's how sad this is like I'm not even trying to be mean or make anyone feel like dog shit but I'm just telling the truth like if you you are you can't how do you expect to make a plan to dominate someone when you need that person's, you need the person you're trying to dominate to play along with it? What kind of plan is that? That's a pretty stupid plan. That's a dumbass plan. Oh, I need Collected to play a part of this. No, you're stupid as fuck. Here's the thing. Collective's plan is to focus on themselves and they're dominating your life. You think of that? They're, you have to collect, like, listen. It's pathetic. I don't get it. I will never understand. Because I don't have time for that bullshit. Mama, most of us don't either. And my left ear ringing like shit. Come through, spirit. But it's, do it's just like, why? What's the point? Oh, it's, the point is because you're fucking upset that you know that you're nothing without collective... And that hurts because you keep projecting that you're nothing without collective. And that's your projection that you keep putting out. And instead of fixing that projection confirmation with that click. Because you don't. And instead of fixing that projection. 
you live with that projection because you feel like that's a way to get collective back and you're not getting your way because collective doesn't mess with that type of energy. It's it's that. Like, if these people could just relax and breathe and stop stalking you because <laughs> they would live such a better life. Like, that's the free will of this. And these people would just stop doing this dog shit, they would live a better life. They really would. Like, us terror, like, listen, the big thing about terror readings, we're not telling you what's exactly going to happen. We're telling you what could happen. Free will is always at play. We're telling you what's happening with this energy that's happening right now, though. Okay? So if you really want to fix your life, and you're watching these tarot videos, and it's pissing you off, get out of this energy. your energy I'm picking up on you you get out of it I didn't even pick they're not even, it's not even about collective anymore collective's like not even in this reading half like they were but now they're just gone it's all about this this weirdo that wants to be in your energy but this is why they're not in your energy get a job oh well I keep getting fired from all my jobs well that sucks to be you maybe you shouldn't have wished all that ill intent on collective keep trying to find a job you will be bound to find one. Change your attitude. Change your outlook. And that doesn't mean, oh, I'm, I'm, I know this spell will work. I know this. No, don't do that because it's not going to work either. Because all collective has to do is go, yeah, this spell is not going to work. And the high vibration that collective's at is not going to allow that spell to work. And then you're going to be like, oh, fuck, now I got more karma on me. Dumbass, yeah, because you keep attacking someone for no fucking reason. It's your fault. Judgment in reverse. You're on the wrong side of judgment. You're misjudging this whole situation as a, in a whole. Stop being stupid. Please. You're only hurting yourself. And collective is not going to help you with it. And this is the reason why. Because this is a lesson. This is a lesson that they have to learn on their own. Frankly, it is. And, like, it sucks. But this is a lesson they need to learn on their own. This is not a lesson that you can hold their hand with because if you do, they're not going to learn this lesson. You have to leave these idiots out in the cold. Like, they they need to learn. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to really teach them if it comes from you because you're God's chosen. You're an empath. You know... If you feel called to truly help these people, go for it. But, like, at the same time, this is a lesson that these people need to learn. And it sucks. And it's gonna, it's going to really bite them in the ass. But, oh, well. Why did you put so much work into this if you didn't want your own reward? Your reward being the shitty karma. Three of wands. It's coming in. Things are moving. This this eclipse energy, it's no longer it's ending today. It's 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 moving on. We're leaving this new moon energy. Everything's coming back into action. Things are picking up pace again in the universe. With the three of cups, yeah. There's gonna be celebrations on your horizons. Things are picking up in pace. The world's moving again. Every time I say that cards come out, yeah, six of cups. Whatever you did in the past is gonna be mirrored back to you. All that love you've been giving yourself has been going to be mirrored back to you. All this dumbass baby shit that these people have been doing. All this victim mentality is going back to them. Lovers, yeah. Lovers, chariot. Lovers contract on the way. New contracts on the way. This could be like a new, like a new contract that brings happiness, new fulfillment, new joy in your life. It's on its fucking way. You've stand the test of time, and that's someone's tower moment. Because they're being sacrificed. You've let go of these people to enjoy yourself, to have a wonderful life. These people feel betrayed. Sucks to be you. Moving on. With temperance in reverse, yeah, bitch, these people's lives are going hell in a handbasket because they refuse to change and it's no one's fault it's no one's fault do not do not 
let them project that bullshit like, oh, this is your fault. It's not your fault, Collective. Everyone has free will. It's these people's free wills to be fucking stupid. To do this shit. To be babies. To shit their pants and then ask everyone around town to change their diapers. It's their fault. It's their fault that they're stuck in this karmic relationship. It's their fault that they don't feel strong enough to move out of this karmic relationship. It's their fault that their life's going to go to shit. It's their fault for the loss. It's their fault for the magic backfires. It's their fault for the despair in their life. Not yours. It's all theirs. You didn't do shit. You might have been a catalyst because they did this shit to you and you didn't do anything back. That's about it. You didn't do anything, though. Your inaction was an action of self-love. Whatever the fuck's happened to these people is their fault. Someone needs an exorcism. I'm not, I, that, I feel like that's why I'm getting into the fucking exorcism business. I don't know why, but like, I just, someone has a literal, listen, I've been doing, I've been, all, all the studies, this is ringing off like a lot of the like check marks like yes this could just be a mental issue that this person has but I heavily feel I heavily feel that there is some sort of entity attachment like this person does need exercise as to some degree whether this just be an extreme ment- like I just it, I feels more than a mental issue there has to be something more because this person it's like involuntary lying at this point there's no way that this person wants to lie this much and keep trying to act like their life is still like good and swell there's no one this person would have to be clinically fucking insane to continue down this path if they do not have an entity attached to them we're talking schizophrenia we're talking like delusions like actual insanity for this person if not having some sort of entity attachment this is not just narcissism this is something deeper than that this is like a fucking atomic narcissist they got schizophrenia uh, fucking disassociative disorders DID I'm not gonna I'm not trying to be mean to people but it's like this person does not have a, a sound mental capacity they are not mentally okay they need help because there's no way in God's green earth that this person is going to continuously lie like this to act like everything's fine despite everything around them is falling to shit. There's no way. It's impossible. That's the mind game that they're trying to play with you. That you know their life is shit, but they're acting like it's not. No, it doesn't work like that. You need to get help. Like... I'm not, I come blunt, yeah, of course, that's tough love, but you need help. I'm telling you you need help. I'm telling you that you need to uh, grow up. Like, go to therapy. Seriously, go to fucking therapy. It's not that bad going to therapy. I've gone to therapy from the ages of 7 to, like, fucking uh, around, like, 20. When my, well, 21, because I went to therapy when my mom died, too, because I couldn't go through that alone. It's okay, go to therapy. Therapy's not bad. Therapy is not a bad thing. I don't know why I don't know why everyone thinks that therapy is like a, a bad thing, or why people think that if you go to therapy, you're mentally unstable. No, sometimes you just need someone to talk to. Go to therapy. Go to a licensed doctor, please. Like, may, may, maybe you really just need to go outside and get some fresh air, and just be isolated and be alone for a minute, and actually cry and feel your emotions as well. Like, shit, I don't know. I, it could be anything. I'm not a licensed doctor. I'm not a psychiatrist. Um, so don't don't take what I'm saying to word, but go get fucking help. <laughs> like that's the only thing you need to take to take to your heart. The four of wands reversed and the knight of cups upright. Yeah, someone's very unstable because you're not accepting some sort of offer that they want to give you, or that you're not going to be open to accepting an offer. The four reverse. Yeah, because they went they did the wrong things. Eight of Wands reverse. King of Pentacles reverse. Ace of Wands reverse. The Seven of Wands upright. Jesus Christ. You can't do anything right, can you? I'm not even trying to be mean, but that's the energy that's coming out. Like, this person... 
feels like they've like they've fucked up every avenue that they could and now they want help and now it's like well now i can't go to collective because i'm scared about what they're gonna do to me and i'm scared about getting rejected for help and i'm scared of xyz that sucks to be you doesn't it how does that feel not too good ten of swords is how it feels yeah like a painful permanent ending Seven of Pentacles reversed. No dreams are being fulfilled. I'm gonna go get this other de this other deck out, and we're gonna get some fucking signs. I want to know who these what signs are up. I know it's a little bit too late in the reading to get the signs, but y'all know me. I'm fucking. I'm at. I'm up with it. Okay. I wanna. Do y'all? Okay. Also, do y'all know of any like tarot decks that actually like, not even tarot, but like, decks that have like. Um, the astrological signs. I've seen a few videos of uh, Intuitive Goddess that has them, and I can't find it anywhere. Um, could you help me out with that? Because I really want to like get one of those decks. Because I feel like that would be good to have. Um, but if you know, please like comment it and let me like let me know. Because I I want to I want to start getting more signs out. And I, I've been slacking on giving you all the signs. I know, and I apologize. I've just been so enthralled with these new decks that I, I kind of slipped off game a little bit, which is also why I want to get one of those because it'd be a new deck and I would tenfold use it more. Um, Aquarius is the first one that comes out. Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cap Capricorns. It's heavy on the Capricorn and Sag. Heavy on the Sag, dude. Yeah. Yeah. This person may even... I don't know. It feels like this person might be, like, spiritual. But they don't know a damn thing. <laughs> They're used to dating fake bitches. They're used to being around fake spiritual people. And you're a real one. You're a G. You're you. You rocking with what actual spirituality is. And this person wanted to mock you, make fun of you. And now it's like they're scared because, oh, you weren't crazy. You actually are spiritual. Yes. Welcome to a new energy, an energy that you chose to interact with, an energy that you manifested. Leo, Virgo, Will of Fortune in Reverse. For any of these signs that I've read out, if these are signs that are on you, hopefully not. I mean, if they're your sign, don't worry about the Wheel of Fortune reverse, you know, unless you're a cross-watcher. But those are the signs that are getting the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Those are the people that can really get it heavy on the Sag and Cap. And it's like, you know what? I think all of these energies, aren't all of these energies like really balls? Yes, all of these energies that come out, that have come out, Leo, Virgo, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Sagittarius, Scorpio, they're all signs that are very like, oh, I rule the iron fist, oh, I'm a dominating uh, fierce energy, hear me roar type bullshit, and they're all getting bad luck because now it's stop being a bitch. The world is like, you can't, you can't rule out of this, anger rules all attitude no more. Your magical energy's fucked up, your feminine energy's fucked up, find balance within yourself, stop being a nitwit. Simple as that. They're just getting what they get. There's nothing to fix it. Like, they can't fix this shit, even if they tried. And they'll act like they're not bothered by it, too. They will. Oh, baby. They they love putting on the masks. They don't got much energy left in their system, but they'll put on any mask they can. You know? But you moved on, and you walked away. You These people feel like you abandoned them. I don't give a fuck. You did abandon them. Let's be real. You abandoned the shit. You abandoned the trash because the trash abandoned you first. Not to call out that pity boo boo like point fingers card, but like they walked away from you. Cool. Bye, deuces. You don't see my worth? Get shit on. Because now I got the Ace of Pentacles. 
yeah, now these people, yeah, these people are lonely while you get celebrations, and that's justice. These people, it doesn't matter how many people that these people have around them. They could have a whole crowd of 50, and they'll still feel alone, and they'll still feel insignificant. And here you are by yourself, feeling like a fucking ten of cups, ten of pentacles, all by yourself. Crazy, ain't it? It's not how many people you can have around you. It's about who truly carries that loving energy. Um, and my thingy died. Dude. <laughs> but um, yeah, they. It's like people are know now. Oh, so the loving, awesome, fun energy. Where did I put this? Yeah. So that loving, awesome, fun energy I was feeling wasn't all these people around me. It was actually one person. Yeah, it was collective. Collective was making you feel that happy. Collective was making you feel loved. Collective was making you actually like enjoy life. Crazy, huh? How the one thing that you counted out was the one thing that was actually going to make you happy. And now you don't get it. Sucks to be you. Just whatever, you know. What can you do? Um, we're gonna go get the T-Deck, and we're gonna use the T-Deck, and then we're gonna, uh, Animal Deck, Angel Deck, and that's it. Debbie Downer, it fucking, yeah, tell it, Spirit. These people are Debbie Downers as fuck, though. They don't have, they don't have anything fun going for them, it sucks to be them. Like, I'm not even trying to say that in, a, like, a mean way, it just, it sucks to be them. Like, what the fuck? Like, love yourself a little bit more. Stop acting like you love yourself. Stop lying to yourself. Love yourself enough. Yeah, pay attention reverse. These people don't pay attention to anything. They don't pay attention to the signs, the warnings, the synchronicities, and now it's like, oh, but, but now it's not fair. But no, it's been fair since from the get-go. You're just, you just chose to be ignorant. You're not ignorant. Well, you are because you chose the energy. But, like, just... Don't be the demise of yourself. Just learn the lesson and fucking heal. Please. Um, give me a second. I gotta unplug this because it's just flashing. It's just flashing. But it died. It, my mic died it again. That's okay. But yeah, I don't know, man. Woo. Yeah, self-love. Self-love's on the bottom of this one. Pay attention. Someone loves himself. Hi. That's you, Collective. I hope you guys are doing well, though, as well. Like, ugh. It'd be, it'd be crazy out here, to be honest with you. But, you know. Oh, well. Okay. Someone wants to know if they can come back. No. I'll tell you no, and then I'll also tell you why no. Um, with the first card, whenever I put these cards in the baggie. Um, because the time is not right. I don't think the time will be right until this person does something. Yeah. Archangel Joy, Phil, thank you for being here and giving us joy. Yes, we love you. Yes, your ancestors, God, your guides, your angels, your passed over loved ones, they all love you. B. Fire sign. It's getting justice. Your shine is irreplaceable. Divine energy surrounds you. Someone suffers from sloth and they're acting like a fool. It's an Aries who is not an Earth Angel. No, Aries, you're not Earth Angel. Not if you are Earth Angel, Aries, not you. You know who you are, Aries. <laughs> Your dream come true. <laughs> um, R, B, R, air sign, R, B, R, B? Is someone's name R, B? Someone works at R, B's? Well, Libra works at... <laughs> believe them all okay there could be a Libra that works at Arby's who's doing some shit to you 
Mm, Air sign came out. I don't know why Libra came out. What the fuck? M. Roomba. So it has a Roomba. Two M's come out. Air sign comes out again. What the fuck? There's a lot of air signs going on. What the hell? 33. You're a master teacher. Why is the backfire coming out by 10 uh, times 10? I don't know. Because you a bitch. Backfire times 20? Okay. Well, it, okay, so is there like a is there like a, a good air sign and a, a fucking shitty ass ratty bad air sign? No offense, but like I've been in that situation where you're the good air sign and you're like, yeah, I'm all about balance and like being nice and fair, and then there's another air sign that's like, oh well, my way, it's my way, cause my 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 my, and then type in like that shit. Like a a a, a bad air sign is one of the most annoying pieces of shit you'll ever come across in your life. I'm not even trying to be mean to y'all. I am a triple air sign. I know what I'm talking about. When you have an air sign who is a negative Nancy, nothing will ever be fun. Ever. When you have an air sign that is just a ruthless little meanie head, there will never be a day where the sun will shine because air signs are the fucking most emotional little bitches out there when it comes to not get like anger or like if they feel like they're right and they're not getting their way they will throw the biggest tantrum coming from like a libra that used to throw tantrums a lot it's not even fun like i'm gonna get it i'm gonna just get that out there because y'all know and y'all air signs i know you can agree with me because that shit like especially if we especially the aquarius is y'all don't give two fucks something doesn't go away well i don't give a fuck i don't care <laughs> like, okay whatever like that's like i know that's it i'm a, i know uh metatron thank you for giving us change of insight uh michael thank you for defending us and that y'all thank you for ooh, transmuting everything someone's blind to the truth and they acting foolish because they binding magic's going back on them angel numbers are making someone really pissed off or someone salty as fuck that you understand angel numbers uh a copycat 22 you're a master builder see i've noticed that too some people on the spiritual journey don't understand certain aspects of it like some people don't understand what signs to look out for some people don't understand like what signs to look out for for ancestors some people don't understand angel signs um and they very much will hold that as a grudge against you uh i've like i've noticed that it's really weird so be careful of people who like to project that shit because they need to hush it could be a cancer it could be a scorpio i don't know where they went yeah death magic is going back to people they fumbled the bag you can relax uh these people are not on a life path scorpio you can relax someone cannot hop on your right on your life path they took a wrong turn a rat you are safe from all so sore losers you are backbone, don't worry. These people are not getting any talk because their vibration is not rising at all. It's falling quicker than anything. We're talking about quicksand here. Stay focused, finish the job. Give me a second, I'm gonna go sage. I'm gonna go sage up in this joint. Um, but yeah, don't forget to cleanse your energy. Like, don't forget the sage and like, Santo or like, do banishings or cord cuttings or whatever you have to do because it's important to keep your spiritual health up regardless and who cares if you have someone in your energy that doesn't like you saging or whatever the fuck they can it's not their life higher heart chakra your soul is intact do not worry these people are not in the flow of life these people can't stalk you and they're stressed the fuck out Mind. They cannot try again. I'm gonna try again in reverse E. Someone's stellar gateway chakra is not aligned. They have no access to the cosmos. Womp womp. Their third eye is even blocked. Womp womp. No perception. We have A. Their solar star chakra is blocked. They can't release anything. Womp womp no soul ties with these people damn no soul soul is damn they don't they don't want to forgive you 
they don't want to have forgiveness, which is why justice and judgment is on them. I mean, I shit. I mean, damn. I mean, yeah, that's what you get. You know, we can, we can, we can. You know, God can definitely switch up for you if needed. Bully alert! I, someone trying to bully you with the initial I. You, they're trying to project an entity attachment to you, but it's not working. It's what's coming through? It's a karmic masculine. Who doesn't love? Who there is sore loser? I thought that said self love. It's sore lover, sore loser, sore lover. Um, your ancestors, guides, divine, love you. Get some rest. F. Meditation if you need to. If you should, you should truly meditate. It's always good to meditate. Aries popping through. Someone can't do sleep magic on you. Expect the pay raise. Someone wants to fight you. Because you're love and light and they're envious of that. They're envious as well because their mood magic is going back. Evil eyes are being blocked. Look forward, don't look back. You can leave behind all your bad habits. You definitely deserve to. Cleanse your energy. Someone can't divination spy on you. Cleanse your energy. Someone wants to try and figure out it's like this person if they do get readings is they can only read their own energy they can't read yours because you're innocent and she's mad as fuck h f f h barley could be a last name no higgins mm. V. Someone can't be patient because they're not in their life purpose. Keep doing your prayers. We have OJ, J O. Someone could be jacking off to your photos. Someone has a distorted view about death. They feel like death is like. Someone. I don't know why. Okay, I gotta keep saying it though. I don't know why people think that whenever readers say death, it does it, it doesn't always just mean like, oh, I'm gonna die. Death is like a loss, baby. This could be a death of your dignity, like an ego death, a loss of finances, a loss of a friend, like you're losing friends, you're losing sleep, like it could literally mean anything. Stop thinking so small. We're evolved. Someone does not get new contracts. <laughs> Someone has old contracts. A water sign. Because they can't balance their chakras. The mother Gaia doesn't even fuck with these people. Their earth star chakra is misaligned. The fire sign is a smart ass. Because <laughs> you're a seer. And they can't emotionally abuse you. And they can't do mirror magic on you. The plans have failed. That's, I mean, yeah, that sounds like a fire sign. No offense, y'all. I love y'all. You know, I got, listen, I got a bone to pick with every sign. That's just me being a Libra. <laughs> That's just me being a Libra. I got shit to pick with Libras too. You're a rare gem. Someone can't energy project onto you. You're getting a pay raise. You don't have any blockages. Someone's sacral chakra is blocked. It's a bitch. These fucking dumbass bitches have blocked everything in their life. And then they want to look at you and, like, blame you. But you're the dumbasses that keep trying to block collective chakras and shit. And now you don't have any, like, anything. Like, that's your fault. Quit being a dumbass. <laughs> like, the fuck? A Le of course it's a fucking Leo, dude. Leos are fucking doy sometimes. Yeah, a fog brain. A fog brain Leo is the worst Leo. They got entity. I'm not into the attachments. Wrath, I knew it. Who is Wrath? I mm, give me a second. I have this written down somewhere. I cannot find where I have that written down. I used to have down uh, what each of the deadly sins were because each deadly sin represents a prince of hell, and I just don't remember. I know gluttony is Beelzebub. Um, I forgot who Wrath was. Lust is Asmodeus. Is Wrath Lucifer? I think Wrath is Lucifer. I can't remember. Pay attention to your angel signs, though. Angel numbers. You're getting a glow up. Someone can't sabotage you. Someone may be trying to, but it's not going to work. Someone isn't using bay leaves 
the right way. Someone doesn't know how to use bay leaves. Uh, cool. Bay leaves are like the are fun to use. This person is not easygoing because they don't have any new contracts. I'm pretty sure it is Lucifer, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Um, but Zad Kail, thank you for helping us transmute. Well, hold on. Before we get to that, the letters, the names of the letters, we have O, J, V, F, H, F, I, A, B, E, Y, R, M, M. Um, but thank you, Zad Kail, for helping us transmute anything sent to us. Thank you, Michael, for defending us from anything that is sent to us. Metatron, thank you for giving us change and insight for everything. And Joe Eiffel, thank you for giving us joy. Period. We love that. We love that. Now I'm going to get to all your angel cards. Womp womp. I don't know why I keep going womp womp. Someone is just in a womp womp mood. You know that episode of Sponge? I know y'all do. <laughs> the episode of SpongeBob where um, Patrick gets the trombone uh, smashed on him and he walks in and goes, womp, 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 boo, womp. It's given that energy for this person. Oh my god. No, Patrick, mayonnaise is not as interesting, man. I'm gonna shuffle two more times because of that. That was crazy. Okay. Wow, look at you for like confirmations. Wow, oh, Jesus. I forgot the, I'm getting your animal cards last then. Um, jeez, man. We have inner power with the Divine Father. Thank you, Divine Father. For co-creating my world with me. We have spiritual support. Thank you, dear, I mean, dear angels, thank, uh, I allow you to support me as I grow to become more spiritually aware. The Divine Mother, thank you, Divine Mother, for helping me uh, with to give grace. Oh my God. Unconditional love with the Divine Mother. Thank you, Divine Mother, for helping me to give and receive the love I desire. I don't know why grace came through. Balance, thank you, angels, for bringing balance into my life. Yes. New beginnings, thank you, angels, for opening up the doors to change. I am ready. Um, spiritual gifts with Archangel Raziel, thank you, Raziel, for helping me to channel my gifts and talents. Archangel Raphael with the divine position, thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. Spirit animal, thank you, animal kingdom, for blessing my path with love, which you're about to find out. Which animals are blessing your path here soon? Um, Archangel Raguel with peace and harmony. Thank you, Raguel, for surrounding my life in a harmonious light. Honor your beauty with Archangel Joyfell. Thank you, Joyfell, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. Yes, please, always. Express your creativity. Thank you, angels, for helping me to express my inner creator. The Miracle of Prayer, Archangel Sandolphin. Thank you, Sandolphin, for delivering my prayers to heaven. Um, if you've been praying for about something, Sandolphin heard. It has been sent. If you want your prayers to be sent faster, call in Sandolphin to help. He will. Uh, transformation with Archangel Zadkiel. Thank you, Zadkiel, for supporting me through uh, to transform from my past challenges. And last but not least, focus your mind. Thank you, angels, for helping me to focus on my priorities. So let me get, let me get. I don't know why I'm, I don't even know what that was, but okay, we'll hum that. I just have random music in my head at all times, I swear. That's a spirit. Who's coming through? Oh, baby. Anything else? I'm going to shuffle two more times. Y'all are scaring me. <laughs> Y'all are scaring me good. All 
right, so first thing first, we have whale, which is communication. You are encouraged to communicate clearly from your heart. Bridge any gaps that are keeping you from connecting deeper with your loved ones. It is important to speak your truth with emotion, vulnerability, and power. Beaver, which is balance. You are being told that hard work is important, but so is quality time with your loved ones. The balance between work, play, family, and career must be maintained for overall wholeness and success. Eagle, which is vision. It is time to look inward with an attentive eye. Allow your heart to guide you, and opportunities you never dreamed were possible will present themselves when you least expect it. Get ready for greatness. Spider with manifestation. You weave your web in life. What you see before you are the results of your thoughts. If your current reality does not suit you, then it is time to make changes through your conscious manifestation. Your energy can bring in all you desire. We have Badger with Endurance. Um, it looks like a raccoon. Whatever. Whatever you seek, your tendency and faith will be paying off. Know that no matter the temporary out, uh, outer conditions, you will manifest your desires in divine timing and in the form that is best for you. C uh, Cougar, with its leadership, you have come into your own power. Now is time to take lead of a situation and be strong. Using the power of intentions, be clear with your purpose and define where you are heading. Period. I felt called to take the top card as well cardinal with adventure you need to live up to your fullest potential explore new directions and take risks in order to grow as an individual change may be uncomfortable but it is necessary but yeah that is y'all's reading um thank you all so much for everything um for those wondering about the personal readings um for those that have them uh they will be sent out by the end of the week i have been I have been studying, I have been meditating, I have been everywhere. Um, <laughs> so I'm just now getting back to uh, the readings again. Um, so expect those by the end of the week. Um, before Sunday, for sure, we're talking like like the day you might get your reading, like today or, or like tomorrow, but before Sunday, for sure. Um Anyone that wants a personal reading, free fairly hit me up. Um, again, I'm needing matches as well. Sunday is my break days for doing personal readings, most likely live streams as well. Um, just need a break day, you know what I mean? So it's good to always have like a break. I like doing tarot a lot, so it's like something I want to do every day, but I can't exhaust myself like that. So there's that. If you want meditation music, hit me up. If you want runes or sigils, hit me up. Um, the runes will be uploaded today. I got the sigils uploaded today. The rune yesterday. Well, today is yesterday for this video when you see it. But when you see this video, I will have the runes uploaded. Um, so expect those here soon. I had to make a few extra ones and like meditate on them and make sure they were what I wanted. But regardless of anything, thank you all for all the support, the donations, everything. It means the world to me. I love each and every one of you to the moon and back um, tenfold and forever. Uh, thank you for healing. Thank you for sticking around. Um, remember that you're always blessed, highly favored. Remember to meditate, drink water, um, to ignore the riffraff because they'll, you know, at you. But I love you to the moon and back tenfold and forever. And I'll see you later.